Good morning, everyone. Um, I thought I would do another analysis using the higher time frames this morning for a couple of the instruments. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I'll be doing a webinar today at 4.30 p.m. on using multiple time frame analysis. And I'll give you all the settings and so forth. I won't hold anything back. And I'm going to go over the slinky setup and how we use a filter to filter out um, the noise. So if you want more info on the webinar, you can go to easyeminitrade.com. All right, so we'll start out looking at 6E. It's um, 7.28 my time Eastern um, on Thursday. And this is 6E on the 15-minute, the 30-minute, and the 60-minute. And you can see looking at the 15-minute price holding the super trend stop as support, whereas if we look at it on the 30-minute and the 60-minute, we have the super trend stop above. So if the 15-minute holds and bounces, then realistically the super trend on the 30-minute can act as resistance, and then the next would be on the 60-minute. If it closes below the super trend stop on the 15, then all three charts will agree for um, you know possibly a move lower. Just have to obviously these will move as price is moving, and this morning is the um, bid rate on European news at um, it's it's early. I think it's 7:45. So likely these will all get hit. So let's look at something else. Okay, so this is CL this morning. You can see on the 15 minute, it just closed above. And then if you look at the 30 minute, we have the super trend stop below holding as support. And then it just barely closed below on the 60 minute. So you can see it just closed below um, in the last hour. And then the super trend stop starts to plot above. So you have it above on the 60, below on the 30, and below on the 15. So you've got some mixed messages here. Generally, when they don't all agree, um, you have chop until they do all agree. So that is CL this morning. So first impression is chop until they all agree. So this is the NQ. We have the super trend stop below price on the 15 minute, the 30 minute, and 60 minute, um, leading us to believe an easier time moving higher. Gee, what a surprise. Um, anyway, if price retraces, these would um, possibly hold as support. So obviously, pre-market volume very, very light on NQ. So there's a whole lot of time left before 930. So this could change. But for now, that's you know, that's what you're looking at on the NQ. And this is YM below on the 15, the 30, and the 60, again, leading us to believe higher. So if price pulls back, those could hold as support. And then once price closes below any of them, then the super trend stop will start plotting above. So for now, higher. And Russell, same situation, below on the 15, the 30, and 60, leading us to believe higher. And the other thing is that I want to mention is that you don't have to have all these charts up while you're trying to trade. You can set alerts on them and just have an alert that says 15 minute, 30 minute, 60 minute. So if price starts to break it um, in either direction, then you have an alert and you can just flip over the chart and look at it. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about that tonight during the webinar. So I hope you find that helpful. And if you have any questions, certainly send me an email. Okay, have a great day, you guys.